I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. It's a site with curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read that is going to help you find work more quickly. We're evolving the site to one that's really focused on interviewing. Uh, so come join. I think you'll find it very helpful. For now, there's a lot of good material there, and more is going to be added daily. So again, JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. And once connected, message me. We'll set up a time for a free introductory conversation. Now, the question for today is, so how do you keep your team focused? And this, of course, can be uh, directed toward anyone from a manager level or above. And the typical answer is to talk about, I try to schedule 15 to 30 minutes daily with my senior leadership. Now, if you're a manager, you don't have senior leadership. It's really with your team. And you try and do a quick huddle up in the morning to get people focused and directed. I understand that sometimes it's not possible and people will have to interact with others because other situations come up. But we have 15 minutes blocked out on the calendar each day to check in. That's the basic, typical answer that firms would expect. But let's go a step further with the answer. And say, and then I try to notice patterns. So, for example, I notice if someone isn't there, whether they're being ganged up on. I notice whether in the course of, of talking with people, I'm listening for emotional things that are going on to indicate that the team is strained in some way, that there's something going on beyond simply the data of what needs to happen. So that in this way, I can address it with them privately and just see what's going on. Because kind of like in football, and I'm going to use American football as the example, sometimes teams put in place too quickly, the players get overwhelmed, they start reacting slowly and they don't perform well, or they're just feeling overwhelmed. And the coach will cut back on the, on the playbook for a week or two in order to make sure that the team is not stressed out. Well, the same thing applies professionally. Sometimes your team has been working hard for so long, they just need it a little bit easier for a period of time. And I sometimes will cut back on, on my playbook and my expectations of them and let them, I don't want to say coast, but we're going to cut back on the things that they're going to be doing and try and structure things a little bit differently so they can catch up. So again, it's a little bit more complex an answer than just simply we meet for 15 minutes and try and get, all get on the same page with one another. No, it demonstrates the emotional intelligence that uh, at least American firms demand of their leaders, that they're sensitive enough to the moods and personalities of their team, which is a social organ, uh, organism. Uh, it it moves, it sways, it evolves, it changes, and you need to change with it sometimes and not and, and not always drive the bus. And sometimes you do have to drive the bus because you can't cut back. So hope you found this helpful. Hope you give it a great review in Apple Podcasts. Wherever you listen to, it's not a podcast. If you're watching it on YouTube, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I hope you like this. And again, if we're not connected on LinkedIn or you're interested in my coaching you, Connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Oh, one last thing. I introduced something recently where I'm having lunch with people via Zoom. It's a video service, and we sit down, have a quick bite with one another, I figure about 45 minutes. I charge $175 for it currently, uh, and it becomes a good way where you can get coaching from me or questions answered about your job search or about leadership coaching, and we can work together over lunch 12.30 Eastern time, and spend some time with one another. We can record the session so you can review them later on. And um, if you're interested, again, contact me through LinkedIn. I'll let you know how, how we can schedule that. Monday through Friday for now, not on Tuesdays because I'm running a group on Tuesdays. But again, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Have a great day. Take care.